All right. From Rama, how to create a Confluence page from a Jira workflow post function with many multi-line text Jira fields which have HTML and XML tags in their content. Whoa, that's a good one. Mm, that is a good one. And I actually have a solution for that. Nice. Um, so let me just share my screen here if I can. Yeah. So right here I have in a Jira issue um, a field that has HTML in it um, and a field that has XML in it. Um, and what I did here is that um, I created this post function um, on the done transition. Um, and so it's just a script runner um, custom script uh, post function. And um, I can show you how I um, created this script here. Um, so go over to my IntelliJ here. Um, there are a lot of things that you'll end up importing. Um, and I'm going to put the script on community. So, you know, you can go look there, you know, copy the script, do whatever you want with it. Um, look at it more closely later. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create this method um, for getting the confluence link. And then I am going to get the issue. Hey, Tiffany, I think we're still looking at Jira on your screen share. I'm oh. not sure if you mean us to be looking at another screen. Yeah, no, yeah, you're supposed to be seeing my IntelliJ. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it paused, um, it paused my sharing. Let me see. You can start a new share. Yeah, I'll start a new share. That's weird because usually whenever I switch screens, it doesn't um, pause the share, but it keeps doing that. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. Can you see my IntelliJ now? We're good, yeah. Yes. All right, cool. Um, so like I said, this is the um, get primary confluence link um, method that I was talking about. Um, and this is the um, issue that's provided in the binding of um, the post function script. Um, and then you will want to um, get your confluence link um, with the method that we created up here. Um, and you wanna make sure that your confluence link is working and stuff like that. Um, and then you will want to do some things like um, setting a few values um, for the page title and getting some custom field values. Um, so you'll wanna make sure that um, there is, um, you set a page title for the page. Um, you wanna get your custom fields. Um, I am parsing the data from the XML um, field with JSOOP um, and I get the data that I want from it. Um, and then we want to create our page body. So, um, this is just like the actual page body of what we want our confluence, um, page to look like. So here I want to put in the issue description. Um, and then I have my, um, HTML field value, um, and I've got, um, you know, some of my um, locations, which is from my, um, uh, my XML field. That's the data that I want from that. Um, and you can, um, you know, put whatever kind of stuff you want in here. This is just an example of what I've got. Um, and then here is my JSON um, that I'm sending um, through the Confluence API. Um, and then I'm going to create my request. Um, so basically what's going on here. Um, so for create request, uh, I'm using Confluence's REST API. You know, you can check out their docs on that. Um, so this can work with any linked Confluence application uh, and then set request body. Um, this params here is um, this um, JSON object that I created here. Um, so this is where we add our string that contains our data that we got from the Jira fields and it will dictate how the page looks. Um, 
And so the error handling I have here, um, you might want more robust error handling for your use case, but I just have like some simple stuff here. Um, so it won't catch like if the Confluence page that the script creates has the same title as an existing Confluence page, for example. In that, pay in that case, um, the post function will fail, but the script itself won't catch it. Um, so, you know, you can do whatever you want with your, you know, add some more robust error handling, whatever. Um, so I can show you how this turns out. Um, so I'll go ahead and save that. Oh yeah, and then I'll start a new share here. So you can see my Jira. All right, cool. So I'm gonna publish this workflow and I'll show you what happens whenever I transition this issue to done. And I go over to my confluence and you can see that this page has been created and it has um, all of the HTML that I wanted from that HTML field. And it has uh, the data that I extracted from that XML field. Um, so yeah, this is just like one of many examples. Um, doing this through app links is the most universal way to do it. So that's why I demoed this method to you. Um, the more complex your use case is, you may want to consider using script runners remote control feature. Um, but yeah, this is just um, one way to do it. So yeah.